Hello, I'm Stan Boney. The tenants of Youngstown's Park Vista Independent Living Apartments have won their legal fight with the owners of their building. The underground garage will be repaired and the parking lot on top of the garage reopened. All this after Youngstown city officials had warned the entire 11 story apartment building could collapse. The Park Vista deal. It's our top story tonight at 10. Hunter Morrison, president of the Park Vista Residents Association, this afternoon walked out of the building's underground garage, closed for a year, but with signs posted indicating the construction process to fix the garage and the parking lot above it has started. And we're glad to see progress. A con contractor on site and building permits on the wall and, uh, and an opportunity to uh, see an end to this exercise. The ordeal at Park Vista, located on Youngstown's Fifth Avenue, began in early July when the city's law director posted a notice warning of the structural integrity of the underground garage and warning the residents to take steps to secure your safety. It was later determined the likelihood of the building collapsing was minimal, but still the people living there wanted the garage and the parking lot repaired and reopened. In August, many of them showed up in court after they filed a lawsuit to get the work done. Unfortunately, we had a, a, a sympathetic uh, judge uh, that came, uh, a, vi a visiting judge, David Fury, who uh, saw the value of this and, and the importance of negotiating a, 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 a settlement that, that got everybody moving forward. At one point, the court ordered $100,000 in rent be held in escrow. Morrison says once the project's finished and all the invoices paid, the court will release the money to Park Vista. Well, I think the fact that um, uh, almost 90% of the residents put the money in escrow for two months, um, and that was a substantial amount of money, uh, really convinced them that this was serious. Morrison also says, done the right way, it shows the people can win. I think so. I think it, it, it's a case of, of, of mustering your facts, building support, uh, and making your case. The Park Vista apartments are 45% vacant. Hunter Morrison saying the condition of the garage played a significant role in people leaving. He wants to have a ribbon cutting when the garage reopens, letting everyone know that it is still a great place to live.